What I'm gonna do in this next series of demonstrations is I'm gonna take you through and show you how easy it is to work with SAP HANA. Many people are familiar with working with SAP Business One and the underlying database for that being SQL Server. And of course, with SAP HANA being a relatively new technology, people often get a little bit worried. Well, how easy is it to work with the system? Do I have to learn everything completely new? Or can I take the skills that I already have and apply it to the new technology? Well, the good news is it's the latter. You can take the skills you already have and very quickly apply it to the new technology. So I'm gonna show you a couple of very, very basic things of working with HANA just to set that, um, if you like, comfort level. So you can see, wow, it's not as complex or it's not as scary as what I thought. So with SAP HANA, you have a tool which is called the SAP HANA Studio. So I'm just gonna maximize this now. And in the HANA Studio, this is where you go in and you can connect to each of your HANA instances. So each of your HANA servers you can connect to through the administration console. So you can see here I've connected to two HANA servers. Now one of my HANA servers it can't quite tell what the state of that is. That's okay I'm expecting that to be the case. But here is my other main HANA server and this one is called HANA2. So you can see it's giving me a very simple visual cue. Green everything is good. So I can simply click on the plus sign here and expand out all the information underneath it. Now people say, well gee, is it difficult to do backups with HANA and to do restores of those backups? And the short answer is no. All I need to do to do a backup of my HANA system is I simply select here on the backup option or I can go here to the database and I can right click and I can choose backup. But to make it simple, I'll click here on backup, right click, and then I choose backup. Now the system then asks me specifically, where do you want to back that up to? And my backup destination is already preset, but of course I can specify a different backup destination. Now best practice, I always like to back up to the same destination. And then what I do is I take that data and then I'm copying that up onto the Amazon S3 cloud. So that gives me total data redundancy. I get my backup, but then I'm also taking that backup off-site by utilizing the internet and transferring that data and storing it up on Amazon, okay? So there it is. I've given my backup a prefix and you can set whatever you want in here. You can use dates, whatever the case may be. I just leave it as it is because it's very, very simple. And then I just say next, summarizing what's going to happen. And then I say finish. And that's it. My backup is running. Now I can use uh, different tools to schedule my backups. Or I can just do exactly what I've done here, which is a one-off ad hoc backup. And it'll let the system run there in the background for me. And you can see there are four components that the system's backing up. I've got my name server my index server, my statistics server, and my XS engine. And simply by hovering over each of these, you can see how much data is there and how far through the backup is. And I can just let that go. Now, I've got a couple of choices. I can close that down and then just wait for the backup to finish off in the background, or I can sit here and watch it run. It's really up to you. If you're really uh, the kind of person who likes to panic, wants to make sure that everything's running, you want to watch it and double check that everything worked correctly, well, you can sit here and watch it. But of course, you can come back in and view all the logs and tell exactly what's going on with the backups. Was the backup successful? When was the last time you did a backup and so on? So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close that down just to show you. And then you can see right down here in the bottom, you can see I've got my backup job is still running. And all I need to do if I want to, to call that up, is I just double click on there and it gives me a status bar showing me my progress. I can stop the backup now from here if I want, or I can maximize that backup and get more information about it. I can view any error logs that are occurring in the system. And I can also view the properties of my system in here as well and I can close those down quickly and easily 
also. So now I'm just looking at the progress bar. I can close this down again as well. What I can do now is I can let that backup run in the background and you can see down the bottom there, it's running away quite happily. I can get a more detailed view of that. I can stop the backup if I want to simply by clicking on the cancel operation function. But I always like to leave my backups running and let them finish completely. I don't like to interrupt my backups. Uh, and then I can come back in and get a view of the backup status afterwards.